how to rearrange a collection list in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can rearrange the collection list into the Shopify store. What do we mean by collection list first or rearranging the collection list? Obviously, we are going to talk about something that is related to the theme and also the theme editor. So we are going to head over to Shopify.com, sign in for an account, and then we are going to see the website or the store of ours. Now what are we going to do is to customize the website and from here what are we going to do is basically to check up for the uh, specific uh, favorite no, not that favorite but the uh, specific let's say uh, um, categories. So we are going to add a collection first because we do not see them in here. So we are going to have here a featured collection. Where is it? Is this a feature collection? So I think that I don't know. So we are going to uh, try it out. I'm going to uh, head over the home page again. So we are going to be back. I'm going to head over here. This is the page that we are going to make the uh, existing, as you can see, editing. So this is a feature collection. So we are going to have here a collection. Can go ahead and have the feature collection and select it from here so we can go ahead and replace the collection and put only this one so how we can rearrange the collection so basically for ranging or rearranging the collections we are going to have here some collection list first so we have here as you can see the collection list one we're going to add another collection this two and etc so we can either rearrange the whole collection as for example the first one is let's say going to be the second one or the reverse but first do not forget to set up the collection for example here we're going to type in winter collection uh, do not forget to set them uh, as you can see here name them or rename them and this for example is going to be um frost for example or the freezing freezing so freezing collection so i'm going to have it like this and now we can start adding the collection so we can go ahead and add the collection i'm going to create some collections since i do not have a collection yet so i'm going to have here the freeze collection you're going to select the type of the collection i'm going to go to the manual and i am going to add for example these three products I'm going to click on save and we're going to be back in here so i'm going to create multiple collections so i think that we have one two three so we're going to head over here select the collection i'm going to refresh that page real quick i think that i did not save so this is the problem that all of us are going to be facing this is the thing that i forget already so which is going to be uh, setting up here as you can see the collections do not forget to click on save i'm going to click on collection in here then we are going to select the first collection you are going to see here this is the first collection you can go ahead and do that for the same thing for the uh, second collection and we are going to select another collection for example I'm going to replace that with this, the home collection maybe. And third one is going to be something like this. How we can rearrange the collection. So the collection before the collection list is going to be also rearranged. So we can go ahead and put, for example, the freeze in here, this one into the second position, the third position, or the first position. And for the uh, second list also, it could be uh, changed to something like that. So you can go ahead and put the second to the first position or the last one to the first. It is going to be the same. Make sure that you have already selected a collection. So you are going to see the real time change in here. So we are going to have it like that. And boom. Now for the collection list, how we can rearrange them. Basically, we are going to have them right there. And select, as you can see, like that or rearrange them by putting the first one first and the second one as the second for example 
this is going to be util for the collections that you haven't sold for an event or for a specific period of time. For example, if you're going to see that this collection, I'm going to rename it real quick. So we are going to get a clear idea about it. For example, here we have the freeze collection, for example, I'm going to save. And then we are going to have this. This is annoying for the specific banner. And I'm going to leave all of these. I'm going to rename this and leave winter. Save it. So we are not going to use it. Now, as you can see, if I have, for example, the freeze collection, which is going to be a collection list that haven't sold or didn't do well on the list on the last couple, uh, let's say, weeks. And I want to put it or the uh, position of it is going to be the uh, second position. And we are going to basically or logically, we're going to push it through the, uh, the first collection. So whenever a person is going to head over here, the collection, we're going to or they are going to see only the freeze collection first. And then they are going to see the winter collection. Basically, that was pretty much it for the rearrangement of the collections. Do not forget to create your collections and set them like that. And here we have it. So the purpose of this specific collection rearrangement is going to be for pure marketing and also for setting up the products that you haven't sold already and you want maybe to rechange or change the appearance of the specific, let's say, theme. So here most of the stores are going to make uh, so the collection lists something that are going to be a, a looking like a portrait so a portrait for this one that one that one and they are going to be matching for the background the colors chosen and also the items that you are going to pick so this is going to have the aspect of the aesthetic or aesthetic aspects and also it is going to be the branding aspect also it has the branding aspects that means that it will have here an influence on the buyers or the clients the psychology of buying so basically if you're going to put something that it is going to be uh, attracting from the beginning to the customers so they are going to be attracted and buy for sure and if you are going to put something or a collection less attractive to the second position that means that it is going to be uh, here secondly modified or not noticed into the specific um, let's say here list so it is going to be a um, matter of choice and also a matter of let's say uh, right there the uh, specific um, arrangement of yours so make sure that you are going to put only the attractive elements not the non-attractive if you have something non-attractive or unattractive please make some adjustment to the product for example as you can see here uh, for this specific product i'm going to um, change the uh, main photo of it because it is going to be looking very ugly with this specific uh, this mug and also this candle so we are going to exit that we're going to head over the product and this is going to be a bonus tip for today's video we're going to click on the um the specific product that we've saw as it is going to be ugly so we are going to put this image in here so i think that we have saved that so the second thing is going to be heading over the second product where is it where is it where is it it is here so we are going to put or change the main image to something more attracting and i can see that we're going to put this this is better i think so we're going to head over the online store again themes and then we are going to click on customize now we are going to see the differences in here so we're going to see that it is going to be changed this as you can see mug is a lot appealing that it was uh, on the last update and also for this one, it is going to be appealing too. So as you can see, we have the figure of the specific print on demand uh, box. Also for this as the specific, uh, let's say, logo or the script. Basically, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And I hope to see you soon in the next one.